Hi guys, I'm Andrea Fogel, and the 19th hole is back just in time for the cooler weather here in Arizona. As you know, I'm on a mission to find the best places to eat and drink after a round of golf, and today's choice is one to brag about. I'm out here in zip code 85226 at Whirlwind Golf Club checking out Civic Bar and Grill. Let's go. A short drive south out to Wild Horse Pass and you've made it to the Civilic Grill. Nestled inside Whirlwind Golf Club, one of the premier golf facilities in the Southwest. Owned by the Gila River Indian community and part of the Troon Golf Portfolio, they average about 80,000 rounds of golf per year, making them one of the busiest golf operations in the Valley. So a little history about the club itself. It started in 2002, it actually, the golf course was actually in place before the resort was built. Because of that, the kitchen itself was actually constructed and the dining room and bar as simply hot dog hamburger stand. As it was originally built to push out burgers and hot dogs, it quickly evolved into much more. But over the years, as, as things have grown, clearly we now are a major player with all of the bigger tournaments in town. Being one of the premier golf facilities in the Valley, the Whirlwind Golf Club and Civilit Grill host the Arizona Cardinals, Diamondbacks, and Phoenix Coyotes charity tournaments every year, as well as the final round of the PGA Q School the last two years. With that being said, our chef has managed to still produce uh, these large events and quantities of food with the same exact kitchen that he started with. So it's a really testament to John's skill, knowledge, and passion. Sedlet Grill is known for its unique culinary gems that showcase Chef John's passion for his southwestern roots and his love for working with all types of chilies. I'm in the kitchen here at the Sivret Grill with Chef John, the mastermind behind all of these fantastic dishes, these spicy dishes. Right. <laughs> we're making two today. Yes. Which two are they? Two we're making is the peanut butter and jelly buffalo burger and the hot honey chicken. Let's get started. All right. So the peanut butter and jelly buffalo burger, take fresh ground buffalo. Then we have our secret seasoning that we only make here at Civic Grill. And then we have our signature buns. This is the whirlwind symbol. Whirlwind symbol. We branded here ourselves. That goes on the grill. Of course, you can't do anything without bacon. That's a staple to any dish. And then we have our jelly that we make here. So what's in this uh, jelly right here? The pepper jelly, that is uh, Fresno chilies with sugar and red peppers. This is a staple on that buffalo burger. So it's kind of sweet and spicy, and with the salty, it goes really good. That's a lot of uh, spicy jelly there. Now this burger isn't a normal burger. It's not your typical burger. No, we don't do anything typical around here. Oh, oh yeah, load them up. The second item is a hot honey chicken. Hot honey chicken sandwich. This is breaded in house, and then comes the coup de gras. This is the scorpion nectar. Tell us a little right. bit about this. This is a local raw honey, and we heat it up just enough to get it liquefied. And I add a scorpion chili powder to it, and you have to wear a mask when you're scorpion doing that. Scorpion chili powder. Right. Let's stop right there for a second. You have to wear a mask. So usually when you do this. Do I need one? No. <laughs> I'll stay back. When you scoop it out, that's when it starts flying everywhere. Oh, okay. They actually make uh, pepper spray out of that. And that's, we're about to eat that. Right, it won't kill you. Okay. I am not a spicy gal. My, my personality is pretty spicy, but when it comes to my taste buds, it's gonna be hard for me to swallow this one. From the kitchen to the bar, I have to wash down those spicy dishes with some delicious drinks. I'm here with Teresa. Who are we making? We're going to do our prickly pear martini. So I start off with a little ice. We're going to go with some deep eddy lemon. I add a little cranberry juice, squeeze of lime. I'm going to shake it up. The color, though, it's a bright pink. Mm -hmm. And then I just top it with a prickly pear, pellegrino, and an orange slice. So pretty. Let's try it. Just how I like it. Perfect. It's citrusy, it's fresh, and a little bit of fizz at the end. Yes. If you like it sweet, this is your go-to drink yes. for that. So if I stop in after the ninth hole, grab one of these drinks, you'll put it in a to-go cup for me. Definitely. Right? Of course Teresa will. For the road. All right, so it's time to head out to the patio and eat some food and drink these drinks. Chef John and I are outside at the VIP table, is that right? That's right. <laughs> We have some of the most popular menu items, and you're gonna walk us through them a little bit. Let's 
Let's take a look at them. Over here we have our shrimp salad with our homemade sriracha sauce. These are our wings that people come from all over the place to get. Five different flavors, including the scorpion nectar. Then we have our chorizo and grilled chicken tacos. And then we have our chorizo fundido with Oaxaca cheese and chorizo and our homemade chips. These two we just made in the kitchen together. Right. Why don't we try these out? Let's do it. Peanut butter and jelly buffalo burger. Cheers. Cheers. Oh gosh. There's that kick. Mm-hmm. I was kind of working through in my bite. I had that sweet and salty. Then I got that kick from that spicy yes. jelly. Then of course the bacon adds a little bit of crunch texture to it. It comes together with the peanut and the hot jelly. It's almost like an Asian kind of flavor sometimes. I'm getting that. that might, like a hot, yeah. like a peanut sauce. But it sneaks up on you. It comes yeah, in at the end. Yeah. All right, so next up, what do we have here? This is the hot honey chicken. Hot honey chicken. With the scorpion nectar. Presentation-wise? It's very messy. I love it. <laughs> this is so messy. Don't watch. Everybody's watching. Everybody's watching. It's that scorpion nectar sauce. Uh -huh. It's very overpowering, but in a really good way. I was doing this way before the kernel was, just so we know. Look at these fingers. Is this appropriate? That's how we do it here. Thank you so much, Chef John, for showing me around, making all of this delicious food. We have some drinks in our hands here. This is the perfect way to end your golf round, or if you're just out in the area, this is the prime spot to check out all of Chef John's delicious meals here. Thank you so much again for watching the 19th hole, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.